हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर डी वी प्रसाद फ्रॉम इंदिरा गांधी नेशनल ट्राइबल यूनिवर्सिटी अमरकंटक टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉड्यूल सोसाइटी सोशल स्ट्रक्चर सोशल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड कम्युनिटी फ्रॉम पेपर सोशल कल्चरल एंथ्रोपोलॉजी लेटस सी वाट वी आर गोइंग टू study in this module you shall be able to get an informative background of the basic socio anthropological concepts like society social structure social organization and community you will also learn the basic introductory background about all these basic social institutions this module also provide knowledge about the meaning definition conceptual understanding nature and characteristic features of society and community according to this the module also attempts to give social anthropological perspectives as well as dimensions to these basic social institutions further this module also aim to give a basic understanding to the students about the meaning definition nature and its characteristic features of society social structure and social organization and community it also attempts to provide an informative background about different dimensions and perspectives of these social institutions the term society is the most fundamental one in social anthropology but still it is one of the most vague and general concepts in sociology's vocabulary the term society is derived from the latin word socius which means companionship or friendship companionship means sociability as george simmel pointed out it is this element of sociability which defines the true essence of society it also indicates that man always lives in the company of other people man is a social animal said by aristotle centuries ago since he is a social animal because he cannot live in isolation man lives in towns cities tribes villages but not alone loneliness brings him boredom and fear man lives in society for his living working and enjoying life society has become an essential condition for human life to arise and to continue human life and society always go together where society is considered as web of social interrelationships definitions of society according to morris ginsberg a society is a collection of individuals united by certain relations or mode of behavior which mark them off from others who do not enter into those relations or who differ from them in behavior according to gdm cole society is the organized associations and institutions with a community whereas the another scholar defined society is the union itself the organization the sum of formal relations in which associating individuals are bound together the term society refers to a group of people but to the complex pattern of the norms of interaction 
that arise among the and between them characteristics of society the basic characteristics of society are as follows number 1 society consists of people society is composed of people without the students and teachers there can be no college and no university similarly without people there can be no society no social relationships and no social life at all when comes to the second characteristics mutual interaction and mutual awareness society is a group of people in continuous interaction with each other it refers to the reciprocal contact between two or more persons it is a process whereby men interpenetrate with other members of the society it means that individuals are in continuous interaction with the individuals of society the limits of society are marked by the limits of social interactions when comes to the third characteristic society depends on likeness the principle of likeness is essential for society it exists among those who resemble one another in some degree in body and in mind likeness refers to the similarities people have similarities with regard to their needs works aims ideals values outlook towards life and so on just as the birds of the same feather flock together men belonging to the same species called homo sapiens how many things in common when comes to the next characteristics this society rests on differences too society also implies difference a society based entirely on likeness and uniformities is found to be loose in socialities if men are exactly alike their social relationships would be very much limited there would be little give and take little reciprocity they would contribute very little to one another more than that life becomes boring monotonous and uninteresting if differences are not there when comes to the fifth characteristics that is cooperation and division of labor primarily likeness and secondarily difference create the division of labor and it involves the assignment to each unit or group a specific share of a common task for example the common task of producing cotton cloths is shared by a number of people like the farmers who grow cotton the spinners the weavers and dyers and the merchants similarly at home work is divided and shared by the father mother children division of labor leads to specialization and the specialization are the hallmarks of modern complex society when comes to the next characteristics that is society implies interdependence social relationships are characterized by interdependence family is the most basic social group for example is based on interdependence of man and woman one depends upon the other for the satisfaction of one's need as society advances the area of interdependence also grow today not only individuals are interdependent upon one another but even communities social groups societies and nations are also interdependent when comes to the another characteristic of society it is a dynamic society is not static it is a dynamic change is ever present in society changeability is an inherent quality of human society no society can ever remain constant for any length of time society is like water in a stream or river that forever flows it is always in flux old men die and new one 
groups are born. New associations, institutions and groups may come into being and old ones may die a natural death. The existence, existing ones may undergo changes to suit the demands of time or they may give birth to new ones. Change may takes place slowly and gradually or suddenly and abruptly. When it comes to the final one that is social control. Society has its own ways and means of controlling the behavior of its members. Cooperation no doubt exists in society but side by side competitions, conflicts, tensions, revolts, rebellions and suppressions are also there. They appear and reappear off and on. Clash of economic or political or religious interest is not uncommon. Left to themselves, they may damage very fabric of society. They are to be controlled. Social structure. In the most general sense, the notion of structure refers to a set of relations between elements that has some measure of coherence and stability. It is then a concept with a heavy load of abstraction, a concept that we could in principle apply to any parcel of reality where we perceive a certain order. The way it is commonly used in the social sciences, it is simply designates the deepest, most recurrent aspects of social reality, its framework or underlying form. Structure refers to the pattern within culture and organization through which social action takes place. It is the arrangements of roles, organizations, institutions and cultural symbols that are stable over time, often unnoticed and a changing almost invisibly. Structure both enables and constrains what is possible in social life. If a building were a society, the foundation, supporting columns and beams would be the structure which both constraints and enables the various kinds of arrangements of spaces and rooms, schemata and resources through which social action takes place. The organized set of social relationships in which members of society or groups are variously implicated patterns, behavior and relationships. Social structure is a relatively stable systems of social relationships and opportunities in which individuals find themselves by which they are virtually affected but over which most of them have no control and of the exact nature of which they are usually unaware. In this sense, it is often easy to distinguish the fundamental elements of society from the secondary ones, the essential aspects from the superfluous ones, the stable ones from the contingent one. The idea of social structure refers in this general case to the idea of an ordered or organized arrangement of elements. On other occasions, the structure of a social aggregate is equivalent to the distribution of its elements in given positions. Sometimes the structure of social entity is simply identified with its form or shape. Definitions of social structure. Different understanding of the term can be derived from both the disciplines and many scholars define social structure in different ways. For example, Karl Mannheim defined 
social structure is the web of interacting social forces from which have arisen the various mod models of observing and thinking according to ginsberg social structure is concerned with the principal forms of social organization that is types of groups associations and institutions and the complex of those which constitutes societies this apparently seems to be a framework manifesting the integrative pattern of any society understanding when it comes to macaver and page he defined social structure as the analysis of social structure reveals the role of the diverse attitudes and interests of the social beings wherein group structures represents the kind of reality into which we are born and within which we find work and recreation rewards and penalties struggle and mutual aid all these various modes of grouping together comprise the complex pattern of social structure by social structure cohen means the position in which individuals families and other groups stand in relation to each other whereas tb buttermore endorses the views of ginsberg in defining the social structure as the complex of the combination of major institutions and groups that constitute the society among others talcott parsons defined social structure as in the first instance it is a kinds of groupings of persons in roles combined with their interlacings and criss crossings constitute the structure of the societies r k martin also defines social structure as comprising the pattern arrangement of role sets status sets and status sequences this definition of martin can be compared with parsonian interpretation of role relationship whereas nadel has rightly observed that concept of social structure has been used interchangeably with and becomes a synonym for system organization or pattern in fact does not fall very short of society as a whole whereas the british anthropologist bradley brown initially defined social structure in 1937 as the interrelationships or arrangement of parts in some total entity as the whole another important dimension of the concept of social structure comes from the french social anthropologist by clad levistras levistras contradicts the view points of ratley brown with the remark that social structure cannot be reduced to an ensemble of social relations as observed by an anthropologist rather it is an abstract model built by the researcher on the basis of observed empirical realities edmund leach carries the concept a little further leaning heavily on the ideal socio political rules of the society for him social structure consists of a set of ideal rules about the distribution of power between persons or group of persons this power however refers to the institutionalized and socially regulated power manifesting the structure of the society finally sf nadel has defined social structure in his own way with his usual bent on logic and mathematics in quotes it is a property of empirical data of objects events 
or series of events something they exhibit or prove to possess an observation or analysis and the data are said to exhibit structure in as much as they exhibit a definable articulation or ordered arrangement of parts in quotes. Social organization. An organization is a social arrangement which pursue collective goals, controls its own performance and has a boundary of separating it from its environment. The word itself is derived from the Greek word organon meaning association of individuals. There are a variety of legal types of organizations including corporations, governments, non-governmental organizations, international organizations, armored forces, charities, etc. A hybrid organization is a body that operates in both and public sector and private sector simultaneously fulfilling public duties and developing commercial market activities. As a result, the hybrid organization becomes a mixture of a government and a cooperative organization. In the social sciences, organizations are the object of analysis for a number of disciplines such as sociology, economics, political science, psychology, management and organizational communication. The broader analysis of organizations is commonly referred to as organizational structure. Organizational studies, organizational behavior or organizational analysis. A number of different perspectives exist, some of which are computable from a process related perspective. An organization is viewed as an entity is being organized. The focus is on the organization as a set of tasks and actions. From functional perspective, the focus is on how entities like business or state authorities are used. From an institutional perspective, an organization is viewed as purposeful structure within a social context. According to Eliot and Merrill, social organization is a state of being, a condition in which the various institutions in a society are functioning in accordance with their recognized or implied purposes. According to M. E. Jones, social organization is a system by which the parts of society are related to each other and to the whole society in a meaningful way. According to Ralph Piddington, the most important basis of social organization are sex, age, kinship, locality, social status, political power, occupation, religion, magic, totemism and voluntary associations. Primitive social organization. Primitive social organization consists kinship system, clan, totem and patri are the main forms of primitive social organization. M. J. Herskovitz has classified the primitive social organization with kinship system. In primitive society, the family is the unit of social organization. Most of the needs of males and females are fulfilled in the family. These families again may be of different types such as nuclear family, joint family, matriarchal and patriarchal family. After the family, the next unit of social organization is the clan. You know clan is a group of lineages and the clan is a group of people considering themselves descending from a common ancestor. Like family, the clan is also based upon kinship organization. 
besides clan the primitive social organization also includes patri and dual organization again another important part of primitive social organization is totem groups based upon totemism totemism is the belief according to which members of a clan are related to some natural object that is tree plant or animal in some supernatural way therefore the members of the clan express similar faith towards the object of totem this commonness increases we consciousness among the members of a clan in the social organization the main elements are status and role class system and other institutions and associations community its meaning and concept the term community refers to a group of people with a definite area or locality and having a strong sense of belongingness among each other the term community is very loosely used it is given different interpretations and used in different ways to mean different things in the casual talks people often use the term community to refer to your racial community your religious community your national community your caste community your linguistic community or your professional community definitions of community according to bogar das community is a social group with some degree of we feeling and living in a given area whereas kingsley davis has defined community as the smallest territorial group that can embrace all aspects of social life according to rms mcever community is an area of social living marked by some degree of social coherence agban and nimkov define community as a group or collection of groups that inhabits a locality community is therefore a geographic area having common centers of interest and activities a community is essentially an area of social living it is marked by some degree of social coherence thus community is a circle in which common life is living community is an all inclusive term it includes all our social relationships it includes a variety of associations and institutions within a range of community the members may carry on their economic religious political educational and other activities hence community is the total organization of social life within limited space for example village town tribe city or district elements of community some of the elements that are essential to form a community are like locality community sentiment stableness naturalness size of the community and regulation of relations when comes to the locality a community is a territorial group and it always occupies some geographical area locality is the physical basis of community even as the wandering tribe or nomadic community has a locality though changing habitation when comes to community sentiment locality alone cannot make a group sometimes people residing in the same area may not have any contacts and communications stability the community has not only locality but also a, has stability it is not a temporary group like a crowd or mob it is relatively stable and includes a permanent group of life in a definite place when 
comes to the naturalness, community naturally become established in natural way. They are not deliberately created. They are not made or created by an act of will or by planned efforts. Then size of community, community involves the idea of size, may be a big or small, a community may be included in a wider community, a city and a village may be included in a wider community called the district. Hence, there are communities within communities. District as a big community may enclose small communities like villages, towns, cities, etc. Thus, the term community is used in a relative sense. Regulation of relations. Every community develops in course of time a system of tradition, customs, morals, practices and a bundle of rules and regulations to regulate the relations of its members. However, in modern times, the nature of community sentiment is gradually changing. So, students, let us summarize what we have learned in this module. We shall be, we have so far covered the concepts like society, social structure, social organization and community. In the society and all these basic concepts, we have learned the basic definitions given by the eminent sociologist and anthropologist and their characteristic features and their functions. So, beside this, we have also covered basic introductory background about all these basic social institutions. Further, we also learn so many meanings, definitions and conceptual understandings and its nature and character features in, in the previous modules. And you also gone through the different anthropological perspectives as well as dimensions to these basic social institutions. Then the term society and community are very relative terms. The terms are clearly distinguished in sociology. The following features clarify the difference between the society and community. A society is a web of social relations, whereas the community consists of group of individuals living in a particular area with some degree of we feeling. Whereas in society, it is a huge number of population and there we cannot find the we feeling. Then comes to the another distinction that is a definite geographic area is not an essential aspect of the society and comes to community always denote a definite locality or geographical area and society is abstract it is not real we cannot touch we cannot feel a society but whereas community is a concrete one and in community sentiment of a sense or we feeling may be present or not present in the society. Whereas, community sentiment is an essential element of community. So, there can be no community in it if you do not have the we feeling. Society is a wider one. There can be more than one community in a society. Whereas, community is smaller than the society. The objectives and interests of the society are more extensive and highly varied, whereas the objectives and interests of a community are comparatively less extensive and varied. Society involves both likeness and differences and likeness is more important than difference in community. There is a common agreement of interests and objectives on this part of the members. So, thank you.